What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create the ultimate non-jailbroken iPhone setup. So, let's get started. So there's a few things I want to get out of the way before we actually start the video. So the first thing is, this is not a jailbreak, so you're not going to get anything that is amazing like a jailbreak. So it's going to be a little strange to use, but I'm sure you can get used to it. But on top of that, I have some really cool tips and tricks in this video, and there's actually a lot of them, and I'm sure you might know one or two, but I'm sure there's three or four that you might not know. So I'm going to be having timestamps in the description below so that way you can skip to the ones that you don't know because this is going to be a long video. Alright, so first things first, how do you get this look and how do you get that awesome widget up top? Well, there's actually an application, I forgot the name of it, but it'll also be linked down below and probably on the screen. So open this application up, it's free to use but there are paid features, and when you tap on start, you're going to want to select the wallpaper. Now they do have pre-made wallpapers, but I'm going to be using my own. Now I'm also going to be showing you what not to do, because I actually made this mistake. So I recommend zooming up really far in the wallpaper because the view is not properly displayed. I'm also going to recommend that you set the blur if you're going to be setting this as your lock screen wallpaper because that'll just give it a cool effect. So make sure you zoom up far enough because I'm going to be showing you why it's bad if you don't. So when you get to the section where you need to make a widget, you can select important dates. You could probably match it with your calendar for the month. And what's really cool is there are some other awesome widgets to choose from for the calendar. So you can go ahead and select the dates that are important. You can even change the color by tapping on this button. If you tap on next, you get the widget options. So you can choose the size of the widget. You can choose the placement of the widget. And I'll explain why this view is not properly displayed, but I'll show you how you can actually view it properly. So what's going to happen is if you tap on the preview button, you'll notice that the red bar up top, that's where the status bar is going to be. So I recommend that you place it a little bit under that so you have some room for the status bar. But on top of that, it's not too far down that it just looks ugly, but you can do it however you like. So if you tap on the certain options at the bottom, you can change the size and placement of the widget. And on top of that, if you scroll over at the bottom, there are actually more widgets to choose from. There's like a night mode and I'll actually show that later on in the video. So you can go ahead and save this. And then from here, I recommend going to your photo library and then setting it as your wallpaper. Now, as you can see, I did not zoom up far enough earlier, which is why the wallpaper has the blue edges. So make sure you zoom up. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the wallpaper that I already have because I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the look that I did in the video and on the thumbnail that you saw when you clicking this video. So what's going to happen is I recommend setting this to your home screen wallpaper while low power mode is turned on or you want to set it to the option called still so that way it does not move. You do not want the icons to move during this. So I'm going to be showing you the way that I'm sure, that I'm sure you guys are pretty aware about. It's how to create those fake icons. So what you're going to want to do is basically remove all the applications out of the dock because this is important unless you want to have a different look. So delete anything in the dock or just remove it. Go ahead and take a screenshot of the last page on your home screen. And then from here, you're going to want to go ahead and then visit the website. Now, I do know that this can look kind of choppy when scrolling between pages, but I do have a way to temporarily fix that. So when you visited the website, tap on choose files, and then it's going to let you choose any of your photos. So from here, you're going to want to select the wallpaper or at least the screenshot that you took. It's very important that you select the screenshot. So from here, you're going to wait for it to load. It actually takes some time, but on top of that, I'm doing this on an iPhone 5S, which is probably the worst device to do it on just because it's very slow. But once you do that, just go ahead and tap on the one by one button. It says it as the app icon. Tap on the share button when it redirects you to the next page once it's loaded and then tap on add to home screen. And then from here, once you've done that, go ahead and tap on the add button wait for it to load, and then take this application and drag it to the first page. Once you've done that, set it up as the first app icon or whatever it is on your home screen. Now this is why it's very important not to make sure your applications move and stuff, because if they move, it will not look right with the widget. So we want the best flawless experience for the non jailbreak users, which is what I'm going to be showing you after I show you this. So once you set up the second one, you basically want to swipe back so that way you can select more icons. I don't really recommend clicking the actual back button because I think it refreshes the page. I'm not sure. I just know I had better luck when I swiped back with my finger to choose other app icons. So once you're done going back and forth from adding these app icons to the home screen, you're going to want to add the ones for the dock. 
So select the 6x2, it might be a different number for you, but go ahead and select the two icons in the middle, unless you're on an iPad, I believe it might look different, but go ahead and add it to the home screen, it's the same process as earlier, and I might recommend copying that character it has because it's an invisible icon you might want to use that for a folder so go ahead and add this to your dock it's not going to match but once you add the other application it will match so what's really cool about this is once you add the application just go ahead and tap on that wait for it to load it does take some time but tap on the share icon tap on add to home screen and then from here you're going to tap on add so i do apologize for all the tediousness i just want to make sure i make this tutorial pretty easy to understand for people who aren't as experienced i know there are a lot of people who know how to do this but i'm making sure this is easy for people who don't so what you want to do is you can drag in the series shortcuts i'll have them linked down below in the description and the one on the right actually activates kind of like a low power mode it's not too severe but the other one on the left acts as like a really aggressive low power mode and it basically makes your phone critical health condition like if you need to save power now what i actually recommend you do which is a better idea is for the one on the left that's green i recommend making that a button so that way you can turn off the low power mode so kind of make it opposite of what the red one is i can actually link that down below if you guys would like so the main issue is that everyone hates about this is that when you scroll between the home screen it looks really ugly so the one solution to this is by using spotlight search but another solution to this is by locking the home screen so it sounds weird but i actually found a way to do it a while back so i'm going to be preventing the feature of scrolling on the iphone so how do you exactly do that well it's actually very simple if you're on ios 12 just tap on the x button and the edit button at the exact same time and you'll see a little keyboard pop up. It's really glitchy. You want the same animation that I had. If you get anything different, it didn't work. So you can now see that every time I swipe on the home screen, it doesn't let me go over. So now I'm pretty much forced not to be able to get that ugly effect, which is why I love it so much. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering what theme I'm using. This will be linked down below in the description as well. And for those of you who do not know how to download it, just tap on application icons from the link down below. Go to tap on show quick actions, tap on select all, and then tap on set all as empty. What this basically does is it removes all the app labels from the applications themselves. So then just scroll down to the bottom and tap on generate theme, tap on allow, and then go ahead, wait for it to load, and then you'll get a screen like so. Just tap on the install button. Now I'm not gonna be doing that because I already have it installed and it would screw everything up for my device, but overall it's pretty simple if you just follow what I do in the tutorial. Now, if you want a really cool lock screen, what I recommend you do is you take the same wallpaper as your home screen and make sure to select the widget but I recommend making it a larger one because you have more space on the lock screen. So you can choose from different effects. There's like a clear one, but there's even a night mode one, which I really enjoy. You can even get a circle one and a circle night mode one or a smaller circle one. So I'm gonna be choosing the large night mode one. This one actually cost $1.99 for all of the features. I actually paid for that in this video. So I'm mainly doing that just for the video. And then from here, you can go ahead and adjust it to the preview and then just make sure that it doesn't intervene with the press to unlock the home button screen and then I said that wrong it was press to open and then you want to make sure it's under the time so it looks like this anyways I think that's pretty much the best setup you can get on an iPhone without a jailbreak it's as much as I could do the scrolling feature has been fixed basically so it doesn't look ugly on your iphone that's not jailbroken but also i just want to mention that i might actually make this a weekly or monthly series how to make a really cool custom iphone setup without a jailbreak so i'll probably have like iphone setup of the month or iphone setup of the week and i'm gonna kind of make it like my jailbreak setup series where you can send in your actual iphone setup and i can even make a video about it so if you guys want to do that the link will be down below in the description. Pretty much try to follow the same rules. It's really not that hard. Just take a screenshot of your setup, send a link of the wallpaper and the theme, and also what version of iOS you're on. Now, I do just want to mention that I worked my butt off to make this video, and as I'm recording this, it's 9 minutes and 50 seconds. So I'm going to just continue to talk until it reaches the point Well, my phone just went off, until it reaches the point where I'm at... 
10 minutes there we go so now i can put a little bit more advertisements on this because this video is probably going to do terrible youtube's not going to send out the notification so i kind of want to at least make the money back that i paid for the application because i'm a broke youtuber anyways thank you so much for watching i actually enjoyed making this video and as always peace